When we say mental health, we are not talking about the people on the street. Each and every one of us has mental health. You know, when you're lighting complexion, wherever you go and when you have a nice body, wherever you go, you are rejected. People, people label you those funny names. So, you know, all of that was coming up. And at the end of the day, you're dating the wrong people for the wrong reasons. And you get heartbroken. So it was like a whole pile of garbage on top of another. Mm -hmm. I was so depressed. So suicide, right, seems like the best option because what I've learned being in that dark place is it's unbearable to be there. It honestly is. Um, And one feels hopeless, one feels worthless, one feels like there's absolutely nothing to look forward to in life. Therefore, you know, suicide is the end. Uh, it will end all of this. You understand? Nobody is talking about how men feel, not even men themselves. If you look at the statistics, actually, more men commit suicide than women. In our part of the world, you find out if people are thinking about what to eat, who is going to take money to visit a psychologist? So it looks mm-hmm. like the pastors and the prophets become the easy call. You know, like from where I come from, you need to be married at a certain age. And when you pass that certain age, people think like there's something wrong with you spiritually or mentally. So stress is going to come, but how you cope with the stress determines whether you have good mental health or not. I'll just say this for men. It's okay to know when you're at your breaking point. You don't have to be permanently strong. It's okay to say, I'm not strong. I cannot share my strength with you. My strength is not enough to share around. So no, thank you. It's okay to say no. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to go away. It's okay to shut down and take care of yourself. It's okay. I'm normally someone who's energetic. You see, Moss. Um, this was gone. I was just always in bed. I didn't have the energy to do anything. Um, it was even a drag to get up just to make myself a sandwich. A lot of us are just quick to judge, quick to dismiss. Even when you're just talking to your friend and you notice something that's off about them, bring it up. Maybe the, they need that opportunity. Maybe they need someone to talk to. So if there's a change in the way a person uh, thinks, the way they feel, and then the way they behave, then we can say they have a mental illness. But most of all, I found peace in the word of God. I found rest in God and his word and his promises. I learned about putting myself first and then other people come second. I learned to believe in myself. I learned to wake up no matter how hard it is. I make sure I put my makeup on. Even if I don't have anywhere to go, I wake up, I bath, I take a long bath. I remind myself that, girl, you're going far. I tell myself that at least you're no longer where you were before. You are going to be great. I look at myself in the mirror. I talk to myself and say, let me remind you one thing. You are a great person. Let me remind you one thing. You are going to drive whatever car you want. Whatever that is happening around you does not define you. Get help for your mental issues. Be the help for another person's mental issues. Like nobody wants to die. But when the pain becomes unbearable, when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you, you just want to pull the plug. I-